Hey YouTube, uh, this is my review after 3,000 miles of my 2016 Dodge Ram Laramie. This is a 1500 version. Uh, done a few modifications to it, nothing major. We uh, put some Moto Metal rims on it. These are uh, 20 by 9. Uh, I have the red uh, part in there because I'm a big Star Wars fan. And those are uh, Cooper Discoverer. Uh, those are a the ATPs a little bit more aggressive tread a little bit better looking a little more stout looking and then over here on the front uh, We did the uh, Coil spacer about two inches. Uh, there was no movement to the ball joint whatsoever. Everything pretty much stayed in line Other modifications. I'm starting with the black badging. You can see the Hemi right there is in black and if we come around to the back uh, we got the 4x4 four four insignia right here is in the black as uh, in black as well. As I said, big Star Wars fan. Empire. Uh, put a uh, truck sport cover on it, which is nice about the truck sport is I have to unlock it. As uh, uh, since the tailgate locks, the truck sport also locks right up in here and right up in here, and you can store your stuff in there. Uh, additionally. We did a uh, Magnaflow exhaust on it. Let me fire it up for you so you can hear what the Magnaflow sounds like starting up. A little more aggressive tone. It doesn't drone when you're in the cab. It actually sounds very nice. It takes a little bit of getting used to with the 8-speed transmission. Also, uh, Additionally, we uh, did as my uh, Cobra convertible in case you're interested. Let's pop the hood here. And oh, that is releasing the brake and not popping the hood actually. Pop the hood. Come around front here. And we did the uh, KN. Uh, air intake which uh, fits quite nicely in there and uh, also helps to uh, have an improved sound over it over stock that is so I'm um, really big fan of the leather seats um, you know these uh, after 3,000 miles I'm very careful when I get in and out of the truck to not uh, scrape uh, any of my jeans or anything against there getting in and out I step onto the side rail and get out that way I asked my wife to do the same thing it drives her insane but uh, she's a wife that's uh, that's what they do so uh, this is the uh, key that you kind of just set right there um, put your foot on a brake hit that thing exactly 3,000 miles all right, what you see right here is something that frustrates me about this vehicle greatly. It is not 97 degrees out right now. It is probably 85. This is the first vehicle I've owned where... I have no idea what that is. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, this is the first vehicle I've owned where that is so far off when you start the vehicle that it's frustrating. So it does come into play if you pre-program things such as the cool seats or the heated seats if you have it facing the Sun and you have the uh, you have the uh, Uconnect programmed you know you could actually turn on heated seats or turn on the air seats in a day that it's 47 degrees out or something like that now that 97 degrees that it shows right now will probably drop down to normal normal ambient air temperature within about five to ten minutes i did bring it back two times to the dealer because like i said uh, it's my first new vehicle and it was uh it, it was it was pissing me off actually so uh i've just learned to uh, i've just learned to deal with it and uh accept it uh, like i said this is the uh cool seats here which are awesome it doesn't really blow the air conditioning it just really blows a fan but um on a day like today where it was in the it was in the high 80s, low 90s. Um, you, know, you can really feel the difference when it hits your back, and uh, that's excellent, and a good feeling. Take me a while to get used to this um, turning a dial instead of uh, shift knob, something like that. It's um, 
you know, sometimes if you if you turn the radio down before you get out of the car, you may have th you may think that you've turned this down and you get out and you're still freaking rolling. So I've been out once or twice, but uh, like I said, I'm, for the most part, uh, I, I love this vehicle very much. Uh, I do tow a uh, race car, and uh, when you toggle through here, you know, it does give you, hey, look at that, I'm getting an average of 17.1 miles to the gallon. This thing is 6,000 pounds with me in it, and I'm getting 17.1 miles to the gallon. That, that's, that's pretty impressive for a gas-powered vehicle that's that heavy. So, um, as you can see here, this, uh, this is awesome. You know, I, I use this when I do pull my uh, trailer. You know, it shows, uh, indicates uh, how much brake you're using and everything like that, which I, uh, I do like that very much. Uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, like I said, the leather seats. This is uh, this screen is amazing for old people like me. Uh, we'll throw it in reverse, and you can see there behind me. Kind of gives you an idea. There's a skag I mow sometimes as well. And the phone is ringing. How about? Okay, so to continue after my phone call, uh, I'm very very impressed with the ride and the comfort of the ride, even with the bigger tires, the coil spacer. I mean, she goes down the road and uh, really, really uh, soft and smooth. Some of the things that uh, are, are very nice about this is, you know, you can do this, get the climate here, get it where you want it, get what you want. I have it on 65 degrees because uh, it still says it's 97 degrees out, although it is not 97 degrees. And um, yeah, you have uh, radio here. Oh, I have hip hop on. Yes, that's, that's my favorite. Uh, I'm gonna go this for something. And then you got your apps. Now you can buy a whole bunch of uh, of apps for this, or use what you have here. Of course, I get my phone here is is ready right now, and that is actually very clear when you talk through here. You have to be careful though that uh, you know sometimes if you warm up a vehicle it'll pick up your phone from inside the house and uh, you'll be hello hello and you'll actually be talking through the truck when you're inside the house that's kind of uh, had to learn that the hard way a couple of times um, ample space in here well I've, I've, I've turned on hip-hop uh, ample space here keeping my stuff over here the cup holders are excellent uh, one thing I do want to mention that is uh, definitely uh, worth it in this vehicle, as I said uh, a little earlier, I made a mistake at first, but this is the uh, crew cab, and uh, normal everyday people can sit behind you now um, without having their knees scrunched up against their chest or without you having to drive with your midsection against the steering wheel, uh, you know, provide the people in the rear room. Uh, it's very, very comfortable for passengers, and um, I don't really, I mean, the bed uh, is not that important to me. You know, I, I, I put a few things in there, but uh, losing the bed, uh, I guess it's somewhere around 8 to 10 inches maybe you lose uh, from a quad cab to a crew cab. Uh, you know, th this, this, is, this is more important to me here. And uh, I, I do enjoy the stitching on the seats as well. And... Uh, I'm sorry, I washed the vehicle before I uh, did this. And um, you know, automatic windows up and down. Uh, stereo system is uh, is amazing. The Alpine system is something that I really enjoy. Let's uh, let's let's not get hip hop here. All right, Empire from Queens, right? So let's practice. It's uh, pretty ironic that this song Empire would come on uh, as I just said to you earlier I'm a huge Star Wars fan so um, this has actually made me into a liar right now oh my that was my finger in case you were wondering um, typically uh, maybe I have to be driving it I'm not really sure I'm sitting in my parking lot right or my parking lot my driveway and uh, the temperature has not gone down it is not 97 degrees out right now maybe you have to get rolling with the thing get some air onto it temperature sensor I'm not really sure but uh, like I said this is the one thing that made me bring it back to the dealer 
and kind of frustrated me a little bit. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, I am extremely satisfied with the vehicle. Uh, 3,000 trouble-free miles on it. I'm going to do my first oil change over the weekend. Um, the exhaust is amazing. Styling is amazing. I do get a lot of compliments on it. I will tell you that changing to the black rims and the black badging gives it a little more sinister look and catches people's attention a little bit more. And uh, best bang for the buck, 395 uh, cr uh, crank horsepower, I don't know, 410 torque or something like this. I'm pulling with my uh, my race car. Uh, I'm probably pulling 6,000 pounds, and I barely know uh, I barely know that I have it. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can see the truck there. I guess I could change that color of the truck, but I don't. Um, in case you're wondering or think I'm a liar, uh, come over here. Buried behind my skag. Hello, skag. Is my uh, nine-second Fox Body Mustang. Uh, Vortex Supercharger, got the 10-point uh, roll gauge in there, but uh, so that's what I haul with it. I really like it. Once again, Star Wars fan, big time. Empire insignia in the back, and uh, Cobra up front. And uh, if you pan back here, you know, it has a nice level stout look to it. Uh, not not uh, quite the look of a 2500, uh, but still, um, I did tint the front window there. But still gets a lot of looks where it goes really not meant for speed but meant for hauling and uh, comfort and man I really dig this truck uh, for the money uh, I find it to be an excellent vehicle and I uh, look forward to uh, having it for many years uh, that's my review 2016 Dodge Ram Laramie 4x4 1500 thank you